two years ago I sat in the living room of a brave young woman as she told me about the horror of her teenage years. She'd been sold for sex on a nightly basis for three years by pedophiles. Then she was drugged and gang raped by five men, an incident which drove her to attempt suicide. But this wasn't in Rotherham, or Rochdale, already exposed as capitals of child sex exploitation. This was Telford, a town yet to be added to the grooming gang list of shame, but destined to be the worst of all. Lucy Lowe, thought to be one of the Telford teen victims, was killed in a house fire. Image, Shropshire star, I was raped and pimped out to VIP sex parties at 20 and kept it secret for 38 years. At first I thought this victim's case might be isolated and that I would write her story as a standalone piece. Surely there couldn't be yet another child abuse scandal on the scale of Rotherham or Rochdale? But then I asked, how did they keep you quiet? How did they stop you telling anyone about the awful things happening to you? She replied, they threatened to burn down my house and kill my whole family. And in Telford, that was a very real threat. I listened, horrified, as she told me about Lucy Lowe, a schoolgirl who conceived a child when she was 14 to taxi driver Azhar Ali Mahmood, 10 years her senior. Two years later, when Lucy was pregnant again, he set her house on fire and she was burned alive, alongside her mum Eileen and 17-year-old sister Sarah. Though jailed for the murder, Mahmood was never arrested or charged over child sex crimes. In fact, Lucy's murder was used as a warning to other girls. The Shropshire town played host to heinous crimes going on for decades. Image, www.alami.com, daughter of Telford child sex victim demands investigation into dad who killed her. Mum I drove back to London and told my editors, we need to do something about Telford. I think it might be worse than Rotherham. I'm lucky that everyone else at the Sunday Mirror was as aghast as me. But as investigations editor Nick Summerlad and I began digging, an almost unthinkable depth of depravity emerged. We met victims who didn't know each other but wept as they told us eerily similar stories, how they were groomed, raped, beaten and sold for sex, sometimes to nine men a night. The oldest abuse survivor was now 47. The youngest just 19, and Lucy wasn't the only girl involved to die. We met the families of Becky Watson, killed age at 13 in a car accident described as a prank, and Vicky Round, dead at 20 after developing a crippling drugs problem. Both had been ripped from their families at 11 and trafficked across the UK to be raped. Shockingly, both shattered families said they had begged the authorities for help but got none. The failings of police and the council were so horrific they didn't want mirror readers to know. Police sent officers to the homes of victims to tell them not to speak to us and the council branded us irresponsible. But we refused to give up on the lost girls of Telford. And finally, this week, we have been able to give them a voice. All we can hope now is that an inquiry gives them the answers they deserve too.